Setting up Google Analytics goals will allow you to easily track how many visitors are converting and completing the actions you want them to. This is really important so you can see if your website is successful at helping you achieve your business goals, and it also shows you which areas you can improve upon. Today, I'll show you how to set up three types of goals. A new email subscriber, a visitor who views more than the average number of page views, and a visitor who spends more than the average time on my website. When determining your goals, keep in mind the way people will be using your site. The people who view a lot of pages on my website are most likely the people who like to read the full post and not just watch the video. However, the people who spend a lot of time on my site are probably watching more videos. To set up a new goal, log in to your Google Analytics and go to the Admin section. Click Goals and then plus New Goal. You can see Google has some pre-made templates here to help you out, such as when someone makes a reservation or makes a payment. We're going to make our own custom goal and then click Next Step. I'll give this goal a name of New Subscribers because that is what my goal is, and then I'll set the type to Destination. This means that the goal is triggered when the user lands on a specific page. In the next step, we specify what that URL is by entering it into the Destination field. Remember not to put your domain but only what comes after. So instead of www.thesocialhowto.com slash confirmed, I'm just entering slash confirmed. The value field is where you can assign a dollar value to the goal. I don't plan on adding a dollar value for this goal, so I'm just going to leave it. The funnel is another optional feature that you can use if you have a multi-step process the customer has to go through. I'm currently using MailChimp, which has two pages that the user has to go to. The thank you page after they give their email, and then the email confirmation page. I'm entering them both in here. This will allow me to see how many people get to the first one, but then never confirm their email. This is handy because if I see that there are a lot of people who don't complete the process, then I can do some A-B testing to try and change that. You can click the verify button to test your goal and see how many conversions you've had in the past seven days. I just set these pages up so obviously there are no conversions yet. Now we'll click create goal to finish and we can see our goal is now in our goals list and reporting is turned on. Now I'm going to make two more goals quickly to show examples of two other goal types you can use. We'll create a new custom goal and this one will tell us when a visitor has viewed more than the average number of page views. I'm going to call this engaged readers and select the type as pages per visit. The goal will trigger when page views are greater than three. To find out what your average page views are, just go to your audience overview and you can see the average page views here. We can see that if someone views more than three pages, they are above the average, which is why I chose to put three. Lastly, the goal type I'm going to create is a duration goal. This will trigger when someone spends more than three minutes on the site, which is the average time. I will, of course, be monitoring my analytics regularly and changing these numbers in my goals based on my user's activity. Now we'll verify the goal and create. And there you have it, three goals to monitor already in my analytics. Once your goals are set up, you can view the data for them at Conversions, Goals, Overview. Stay tuned for more Google Analytics videos. If you have a topic you'd like to request that I cover, enter it into the form on the bottom of my website at thesocialhowto.com.